Hello, precious souls. Welcome to Infinite Union. I'm Aura, and this is a podcast on Twin Flames. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe. In this podcast, we are going to talk about if a psychic can actually tell you if you are in a twin flame connection or can tell you if you have a twin flame and also the best advice to move forward on this type of situation. So as some of you might feel a strong spiritual connection or a spiritual bond to someone and a lot of times we can find ourselves wanting a second opinion or wanting some type of spiritual assistance or some type of spiritual advice and we can get really caught up in that and feel pressured while there are many who claim to have a special gift, charge you an absurd amount of money only to find out that they really don't know what they are talking about. But there are, in other cases, there are in fact very strong intuitive spiritual advisors who they have incredible gifts and um, they actually can tell you who your twin flame is. But a lot of times these individuals could specialize in twin flames, gone through a spiritual ascension, but also they are a twin flame as well. So when seeking out a psychic or some type of spiritual mentor, keep in mind of certain specialties that this individual does, especially if they have a business or they do a lot of readings for other people as well. They could specialize in Twin Flames, but keep a close eye on what they actually specialize in and if Twin Flames is something that they do specialize in. But there are a few questions that you should in fact be asking yourself when you are wanting to schedule a reading with someone or if you are seeking some type of spiritual advice from someone. What do they specialize in best? How credible could they be? Or if they have an online website, what are their ratings? Has anyone mentioned any reviews on their website? Or if there are bad comments on their website? And if there are bad comments and discrepancies on there, please don't pay attention to that, just pay attention to facts. If it is someone who is hating on somebody else, it could in fact just be poor customer service or something else. However, um, do keep in mind that it just might be someone who might know the spiritual advisor and they might know them through the grapevine and might have not actually went to you know, their place of business. So just keep in mind when you are reading comments as well. I mean, there's very many cases where, you know, it's true or false. Just pay attention to those things. Also, have they assisted others along the way? Do they have a track record of how many twin flames they've helped or um, depending on what they specialize in, what is their track record like? how many people or how many souls have they helped also how long have they been in business for now this is a very interesting question and i did write this one down but i put this one in this video only because 
it's not really about how long someone has been in business, but it is also depending on, we want accuracy, right? And a lot of times experience can help in that aspect. So if you do have someone who is just starting out, don't really put them through the ringer just because they don't have a lot of experience or don't have any, you know, don't have several years of experience. But do keep in mind, if they do have a very good track record, you should keep that person in mind. But these are some of the questions that you should be asking yourself. These are some of the things that you should be keeping in mind or keeping in the back of your mind when you are dealing with something like this or you're dealing with a twin flame connection because this is something something very powerful, something very moving. And this is something that is not just taken lightly because twin flames are... A very powerful connection and in this lifetime you will learn these lessons and whether or not a spiritual advisor will help you or guide you through it you do have to understand that a lot of times as a spiritual twin flame your goal your ultimate goal is to spiritually ascend that is the main goal for all twin flames so if you are also ever in doubt of who you should be going to for advice or anyone that proposes or specializes in twin flame connections, please do not feel rushed to make a decision to get a reading from this individual. Don't feel pressured in any type of way, shape, or form because anyone who does these practices are doing this for the sake of humanity so they will not pressure you into making a decision whether or not to choose them or not so if you do find yourself in that type of situation please meditate pull yourself back from any type of situation like that and also i do encourage you to contact your spirit guides not just you know meditation and um, visualization but contact your spirit guides because they are there they will help you they will help you along the way all you have to do is ask because they are here to help you they are here to help you along your way and help you along your journey so you can't be scared or fear anything or making the wrong decision you cannot be in that type of vibration so it is super important that you keep in mind of those tools as well. But also remember that you are not alone. None of you are alone on this or in this journey because a lot of times it could feel as if you are, but you're not. And we seem to forget that this is a journey and this is something that not everyone can really deal with right away or when you first realize it, but you have the power within you to get through this and to get through this spiritual ascension and to prosper from it. It is not all sunshine and rainbows, but it is a journey and it is a beautiful journey. Understand that it does have its highs and lows, but this is your journey. It is a wonderful journey. That is the vibration that you should be setting along your way. So this concludes this podcast. I'm Aura. This is Infinite Union. Until next time.